and be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between the Makita brushless 12 volt impact driver versus the Milwaukee 12 volt fuel brushless impact driver. This is gonna be a good one because I just got the Makita a few days ago and I've been dying to use it. And I did test it, this does actually glow in the dark extremely brightly. So this thing's awesome. Uh, both of these impacts are awesome. Now remember, I love all tools. I'm a huge fan of all tool brands. And so I loved, especially, I love 12 volt tools. I just wish certain companies like Ryobi would actually make a better uh, brushless 12 volt system. It would be awesome because 12 volt tools are actually going up because they're actually powerful for, for 12 volt systems, they are very powerful. And for the DIYer, they will do most of the stuff that you want to do. The only uh, downfall of a 12 volt tool is the duration because it will, the 12 volts will actually drain the battery faster for obvious reasons than an 18 volt, 20 volt, or 22 volt. So let's look at the specs of these really quick. All right, so for the Milwaukee, this is model number D553-20, 12 volt system. This actually has four speed settings. It has screw one, two, and three. That is uh, speed three. And this gives the specs for speed three only and the impacts per minute on speed three. All right, so the uh, RPMs on speed three is zero to 3,300 and the impacts per minute is zero to 4,000. And so yeah, the, the four amp hour battery, now the Milwaukee line does have 1.5, two, three, four, and six. And so that's one great thing about the Milwaukee system is they have a lot of M12 uh, tools with batteries to go with them. So when it comes to the 12 volt system, Milwaukee is dominating when it comes to the variety of, variety of tools that you get with the M12 batteries, which gotta love it. And so yes, this is model number DT04. All right, so it has three speed settings. It has screw, high, and low it has an led light on the bottom and i'm sorry the milwaukee does as well i'll put the torque in for the milwaukee right now and i'll put the torque in for the makita right now and so on uh, speed one this goes to zero to 1300 rpms and on speed two it goes to zero to 3000 rpms and the impacts per minute on speed one is zero to 1600 and on speed uh, two, it is zero to 3900. So, the, uh, so straight off the bat, uh, the Milwaukee has 300 more RPMs than the Makita, and it also has 100 impacts per minute than the Makita. So in specs alone, the Milwaukee should win, but we will see on how these tests, uh, on, on how these tests do. On the Makita, the battery life is on the battery, and on the Milwaukee, the battery life is on the tool. So four bars, four bars. So let's go at it. And remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna do one timber lock, one specs, and one power lag each. We are gonna see what these can do with that. Then after this, we are going to go to a four inch lag and a four inch, half inch lag and see what these can do. And we will be using Hilti, Hilti drill bits. Battery is full. So first we're, we're going to do the six inch power lags. Right here is good. And the, yes, the collet is pushing. Collet is pushing. It is on speed three. And battery is full. All right, so ready, go. Wow. Time. Holy crap. That went in like nothing. All right, for the Makita, it is not a push in. You have to adjust the collet to get it in. All 
There we go. That's on high. All right, so let's do it right here. I try to keep it on the same line, on the same ring, if you will. All right, so ready, go. I think the Milwaukee's the winner on that one. Wow. And Milwaukee drove that in like crazy. All right, so next we're gonna do a six inch Spex. Do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, that Milwaukee, that, the, this, is, this impact driver is crazy. All right, it's time for the Makita. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. And then the timber lock time. All right, so ready. Go. Time. Makita's turn. All right, so ready? Go. Time. That is insane. All right, so let's take them out. Milwaukee is going to take Milwaukee's out, and Makita's going to take Makita's out. I'm not swapping them this time. All right, so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to time them all at once. I'm going to start the timer when I start taking the first one out, stop it when it's out, start the timer back again when I start taking the next one out, and so on. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time for the specs. Last one. And that is the final time for those for the Milwaukee. All right, so let's do the Makita. All right, so ready, go. That's that. Time for the specs. And Timberlock. And that is the final time for those with the Makita. Now, I will say this. I, don't, I do not know what the results are until I edit the video, but I can tell the Milwaukee took the kick on that one. But please don't make this think that Milwaukee is just a flat out better tool than the Makita. Remember, these are 12 volt tools doing, doing these screws. I mean, that's absolutely insane. We will be using the Husky half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter with Tac Life impact rated sockets. Been using these from the beginning, still working, still going strong. We're gonna do a uh, four inch lags. Let's see how well these can perform with this. All right, uh, Milwaukee goes first. I'm gonna do it right here. All right, so, oh, sorry. Battery is full still. It's on speed three. 
All right, so ready, go. Time. It did it. It used up one full bar so far. Nope, it went back to four. All right, can the Makita do the same? Let's find out. Let's find out. Right here should be good. Like I say, I try to keep it on the same ring. All right, so, oh, sorry. Battery is full. It is on the highest speed. All right, so ready, go. At the end, it, it did an easier job. It struggled in the middle. Uh, it did well in the beginning, struggled in the middle, then at the end, it did a good job. All right, the battery life on that is still full. It's still, it did it. it uh, like 12 volt tools are doing uh, half inch lags into a log. That's absolutely insane. And the temperature for the, this, we're doing two screws. 112 degrees for doing two screws. Alrighty, so let's take these out. I'm wondering if we should push these to a six inch. Yeah, let's do a six inch. All right, so ready, go. All right, so ready, go. No problem. I, I do not know what the results are. I find that out during the editing of the video, so I'm sorry. That one was a close one. I do not know which one got that one. I do not know. But let's try a six inch lag. Let's see how, how well these can do with that. I'm curious, I, I, I have to know. All right, so ready, go. Up a little bit more. I'm gonna continue continue the timer. Oh, I went a little too far. Let's see if I can take that out a little bit. Tight. Perfect. Alrighty, that did it. It did it. That's insane. A six inch, half inch lag into this. That's a, these 12 volt tools are insane. Like I said, for a DIYer, a 12 volt system would be perfect for you. It would do most of the things you need to do. I mean, seriously, like, like, come on, six inch lags. It's insane. All right, right here is good. All right, so. Perfect. Ready, go.
tiny bit more on. I'm gonna continue the timer. That's it, time. Good job. Good job, seriously. Now, the real question is, is can these take it out? Am I gonna have to whip out an 18 volt tool to what take these out? Let's find out. All right, so oh, battery is still at three bars. Seriously. This is why I love 12 volt tools, all right? You know, like, yes, uh, an 18 volt tool or more a higher uh, voltage tool will do this easier, but a 12 volt tool can do it. It's insane. All right, so ready, go. Time, come on guys, seriously. A six inch lag. That's insane. That's insane. All right, it, it is Makita's turn. Can Makita take it out? Let's find out. All right, so ready? Go. I mean, come on, look at that. That's, that's huge. That's huge. I mean, seriously. Both of these are extremely impressive when it comes to performance. Like, if, you're a, if you are a DIYer, I would invest into a 12 volt system if I were you when it comes to power tools. This, these are what you mainly need is 12 volt tools. This is insane on what these are doing right now. It's insane. This is back like 14, this is 14.4 uh, volts. Just the way that they, the 12 volt tools evolved are, it, it's night and day. It is night and day. Like this would be lucky if we could do like a four inch regular screw, you know, but these are driving in, driving in six inch lags. So I hope you found this video useful and helpful to make your, to help you decide what you want to do. Plenty of videos coming up, you guys. I have endless videos. I reorganize my shop again. I organize it to the way I like it now because it's no longer, as you can see in the background, it is no longer just uh, organized by brand. Now it is organized by what the tool is. I got all the hammer drills here, all the recip saws, drills, impact drivers, and of course my 12 volt line my 12 volt tools, which I made, I kept room for more. And I have more, more room, you know, I'm going to expand my, yeah. The more tools I get, the more I'm going to be expanding the pegboard. So like, so yeah. So please like this video, please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.